mind. <laughs> now being recorded. Okay, perfect. So this is the June twentieth edition of the Chaos Common Working Group meeting. Um, for for last week, were there any? It looks like based on the notes that we maybe decided that we would focus just on the organizational affiliation metric for the release. Yeah, that's fine. I had started some of the uh, geography ones, mm -hmm. and John had given some feedback on there, but um, there, I think I made a mistake. One is the template that Brian used was different than the one that I had used, so I don't know, because there's two templates out there right now. There's mm -hmm. one template, as you know, that kind of comes from DNI, and there's another template that kind of comes from maybe the more like activity metric mm -hmm. kind of things, and I didn't I, maybe I just didn't remember or we didn't talk about it, which template you had preferred for the common metric. Yeah, what we decided was that we were going to do it on a metric by metric basis because okay. for some metrics, like okay. the activity stuff makes a lot more sense. But for okay. things like diversity and inclusion and some of the softer metrics, which are more things like survey questions, then the, the other template doesn't make a lot of sense. So we're just going to pick it based on the, the type of metrics that we're trying to release. Okay, well, that makes sense. That's good. Um, okay, cool. So then I can, maybe we could bring up the geographic one. Did I have it in here? Is it that, is it the pull request 16? Maybe. I see that in there. Is that the geography page? Oh yeah, that was just the geography page stuff. Okay. And then John and I were kind of like digging into the actual depth of the metrics a little mm -hmm. bit. And I'll post those here just a second. Okay. So the pull request was kind of what you had asked for with the repository stuff. You know what I mean? Just get mm -hmm. the repository set up. Yep. To house geographic diversity. And so that's what that pull request is. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. And that's been merged. Awesome. Yeah, I think Georg went and merged it or somebody did. There was, yeah, one, like there was one that I saw that needs to be done. But Okay. Um, okay, so cool. Let me find the... I think there's a link on the front readme page that needs to be updated, but okay. to do. Okay, so... So where is the work on the, uh, oh wait, I see an issue. Well, I'm gonna sh share the link. Common. I see the three word documents, commit hours, contributor country, and contributor employee country, employer country. Yeah, are you in Drive? Are you in Google yeah. Drive? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's I it. Found, I found the link from, where did I find the link from? It's really, I just put it in the chat again. Okay, I found it from the issue. It was, okay. uh, yeah, it was here on the issue. Okay, so I haven't actually looked. John had done some stuff. Okay. I'll add that to the minutes. But I don't think we're going to have an opportunity to really round these out. Okay. So the challenge on these seems to be that there are Folks, so if you, I don't know if you're taking a look at any of those. Yeah, I was just look, taking a quick look at the docs. Okay, so you're in like, you're in contributor country right now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, or whichever you're in. So it's, I think it's pretty easy to start building out the description and maybe the use cases. But then we seem to run into, it's not trouble, but just we need to reach out to folks over on the software side for those sample filters or visualizations, you know, mm -hmm. sample like scripts that could actually, the implementation stuff that could articulate. Yeah. Okay. So we don't have those. Okay. Well, I think that's fine. We can probably, um, I think what I'm putting the notes is that we're gonna table the 
discussions about the geography metrics until okay. um, until after the release. Okay. If that works for you. Yeah, and it raises it raises a, a bigger question for me, in the sense of when we start building these detail pages, like what if we can't if we just put NA in five of the seven headings, does that constitute a release? Like is a release, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like we may have external references, not, not applicable. We may have known implementations, not applicable. But this is a metric that you probably want to keep on your radar. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what, and we don't have to solve it now, but I'm not sure what constitutes that. Yeah. If we did mock-up interfaces, I'm not, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. I think it. I think it's definitely worth reaching out to the the software teams. I would be curious because I think. Yeah, I'm not sure if Paterti has done any of this for any of. of for the metrics grimoire. Um, Daniel had in one of the early issues on the geographic diversity. Mm -hmm. He had posted. He had made some references to a few similar things they weren't exactly these but they were yeah. in that ballpark because i think a lot of the grimmer lab stuff is based on time zones it is i was just going to say it's time zones, which you can that's the data that we have you don't know if it's right and so you can't really get country from that but then maybe with time zone and ip address you can have some better guarantee <laughs> move forward a little bit <laughs> yeah you can't you can't use ip addresses all right Unfortunately, well, I, because what happens is because of the way that corporate companies use VPNs, uh -huh. oh, um, sure. the, the Bay, Bay Area is way overrepresented for IP addresses. And then certain places with cheap power where people put lots of servers for VPN. So, okay, so in that point, in that case, we, we really just don't have like contributor country outside of a self-report. Yeah. I, I actually think the more, the more we talk about these metrics, I think the other templates might be better because the country data is going to have to be self-reported. Mm -hmm. When I was thinking too, if in the common space. Whereas the, commit hours, this is probably, this is probably fine because we can use time zone for that. Okay. And then contributor employer country. Yeah, same thing. It would, well, it would still have to be self-reported because if I work at Pivotal, do I work in London or San Francisco or? Mm -hmm. Where's the headquarters for Pivotal? Uh, San Francisco. Okay. Our, our EMEA headquarters is London, which is where I work. Okay, so, there, so there's a headquarters <laughs> from which to pick. So case in point, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So those are complicated. Um, okay, so I mean, these are started at least. Maybe we can think about them for version two whenever we yeah. schedule this for version two. Probably OSSNA 2020. Okay, so I'm just going to take a note that like... Okay. Uh, Um, okay, so Brian, do you want to talk about organizational affiliation? Is there? Do I want to talk about organizational <laughs> affiliation? How about how, how about how much do you want to talk about organizational affiliation? No, it's cool. Is it ready to uh, release? Can we can we all share that? It's never a good idea to put me in a room with a bunch of academicians again because <laughs> I was I was slightly crabby, but. Um, <laughs> Uh oh. Well, yeah, I was just, I was in a workshop with Brian. Oh, the I last see. Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might be the last one. It wasn't my workshop, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else's. I think, in all seriousness, I think we do need to eventually address that, uh, their concerns um, as far as community health. Um, oh, I, I already offered to go back out there. Yeah. Okay. So organizational diversity. Um, uh, Georg had put in some comments. I think I accepted most of them except when. Where, the, where are we, sorry, where are we working from? Is it the working oh, document, I, the I, Google Doc? I was in the Google Doc. Okay, yeah. perfect. You, know, you want me? No, nope, I got it. 
I got I'll, it. I found it. You toss it in the chat. Yeah, give me a sec. Oh, here I can toss it in the chat. All access. Yeah, I just. Whoops! I, don't don't click on that because that's not what I meant. Click I on what I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, click on what Brian said because that's the thing that actually <laughs> actually means something. I I scored one. I got to <laughs> down. No, seriously. So. Um, yeah, Georg had made some additions and changes, and he cleaned up the template uh, information a little bit, and I uh, clicked through that he was right about, um, and then he added a very large section at the end, known implementations, and I guess it looks okay, but there's a conversation here, like I'm just finding this, mm -hmm. um, like during this meeting. Um, I don't know what the conversation is about. The very specific index. Okay, so, oh, I see. Because these are these are specific instructions, but that's a known implementation. Now, wouldn't that count? The Grimoire Lab, yeah. I mean, if I say, you know, here are the ingredients of Coke, and that Coke is my implementation then then I don't see why we should be generalist about it yeah I think it's I think it's probably fine for for the release I think that Albert, Alberto's comment was more that um, I think there are better examples of the known implementation than the one that Georg picked um, and maybe that can be worked out during the comment period yeah exactly exactly if we don't get to it before when so uh code freeze feature freeze whatever we're yeah. calling it is today today tomorrow I'm, i heard yeah i thought everybody said june 20th yeah it's tomorrow so i'll okay I mean, technically evolution's pretty much done dni is pretty much done commons pretty much done risk has a few that have to be sorted out just a little bit and i don't think value is going to have any and then i'm going to meet with kevin today to start putting this onto the web page. I think like the, bit, the bit though that we haven't done is I don't see this metric on the uh, as a pull request on the is a markdown file. I think it's still in a Word document. Yeah, that's the only thing that is needed at this point. I think. Okay. So who needs to do that? Is that something I need to do? Sure. I would say any of us can do that. Do you do you have time to do it today or tomorrow? Uh, it would have to be today because I'm leaving for China tomorrow. So okay, yeah. I tell you what. If you get to it today, go ahead and do it. And if you don't get to it, ping me and I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. Are, did did the other pull requests have the markdown files in them for those template or for those uh, metrics? If you uh, have yeah, the pull request should just be the markdown file. Okay. So, all right, I'll have a kind of a loose template to go off of at least. I will, I will send you uh, an example of the mer of merge pull request for something similar. How's that? Okay, that's cool. Uh, probably from, probably from DNI. And then wait, and then we, oh, okay. I know we talked about this and I'm terrible because I forgot. The, um, how am I going to get a screenshot in there? That's going to be fun. Uh... I'll have to in an images. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I I will send you. I'll send you an example because oh. they, Matt. Where was it? They they did this. We were just talking about this in the common, not the common, the um, the weekly meeting. Was it this week? Because I wasn't yeah. there. Oh yeah, you weren't there. Never mind. <laughs> I remember. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, let me. I'll find. I'll get you an example. Because I think it was either evolution or um... it's probably evolution because they do a lot of images. Because Georg added some images and he did it in an image directory, and then we were talking about whether that should be a fully qualified link or a relative link, and it needs to be fully qualified for the markdown to render correctly once it gets pulled into the HTML page. Okay, and then forgive me. Where do these pull requests? What repo are we pulling them into? I'll show um, you. Do you, do you want me to do the pull request? I'm happy to. I mean, if, if you want to, 
I, I, so here's, here's the deal. You I did all this work on this. And so I want you to sort of get credit for the credit for the pull request. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can okay. do the pull request. That's, you know, I know how to do that. Oh yeah. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> you know, um, and I'll just, yeah, but the, I just don't know what repo I'm tagging. So on. I just, I put it in the chat. Okay. You're going to hang it off of this spot in the repository. Got it. Okay. That's all and I need to do. Yeah, mark down kind of behind this page. So it'll link off right. of that organizational diversity, the whatever fifth, sixth okay. row down. I'll link it off of that, but it goes into this, the focus area. In is that where you want it, Don? In the focus area, organizational affiliation folder? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll drop the file in there and then, okay, got it. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, if you send me an example of markdown with an image in it, I can make that happen. Yep. Yeah, I'm looking for that right now. I'm trying to figure out where that where that was. But yeah, yeah okay. okay. Let's see. I don't see it in evolution. It wasn't in DNI. Value doesn't have anything in the release, right? No, they're not going to. What are you looking for? The the one that Georg did that had an image in it. But I can't find the images directory in any of the the repos implementations yeah let me mm. see if it's in the common minutes okay well if it's just yeah so if it's just a question of making a subdirectory with images dropping it in there and then yeah i can do that i can do that markdown i know how to do that yeah i was more um trying to be consistent with what it was that they did and make sure that um that we're doing it in a way that's consistent. I can't find the example of how they did it. Because I'm not sure if they're, they're creating like one images directory for all. Yeah, or whether it's like a, no, I don't think it was an evolution. Where is Georg? Can we just ask him or is he out, out of the loop? He's out of the loop. He's at a conference, I think. Okay. Um, well, I mean, there's, I, I get the need for consistency, but for the purposes of getting this out, I mean, I could. I would just, just do it. Just create, to, create the images wherever you, wherever you need to. And then and we yeah, we figure out if it's in a centralized place, which totally makes sense. We can just dump it. Yeah. Yep. Because we can totally move it later if we need yeah. to. And then um, make the pull request, but somebody else is going to merge it, right? Correct. Or, yep. Okay. I'll yep. merge it. I can merge it tomorrow. Okay. Don't forget, your, don't, don't forget your sign off. Oh, uh, yeah. Signed off by. Signed up by Georg Link. No, by you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Details, details. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll figure it out. Cool. Yeah. Okay, that's one. How many more of these do we have to do? <laughs> That's the only one we're doing out of this no, working group. Like forever. I mean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see that list. Brian's Maybe done the one and he's just done. <laughs> I, it wasn't really horrific. I just didn't know what the end pro You know, it's like if somebody comes up to you with something like innocuous and say, we need to make a metric. I'm like, yeah, but what is that? <laughs> what does that look like? I can't wrap it up and touch it. This entire process has been extremely helpful for me yeah, it on is. a variety yeah. of different levels, just in terms of a forcing function to get these out, to now start mm -hmm. thinking about version two, to think about consistency. It's been really, really helpful in that regard. Yeah. So for anything, it's, it's been a huge kind of revelation for me process wise. Because the next cycle, we're going to have to put out something new, but then in theory, we have to do like 1.5 of this or two. Yeah, but it may, it may be modified a little bit. Right. But I think the, in the next cycle, we'll be able to concentrate a little bit more directly on the content of the metrics. A lot of, a lot of effort was spent in this first version about like building that spreadsheet, thinking about the website, right. thinking about our release schedule. There was 
there were a lot of kind of things that I don't think we'll have to really address too much next time around, mm -hmm. or at least not think about for the first time. But I think too, it was also a forcing function to force us to actually finish a lot of the metrics that we had sort of started on and get a little yeah. more consistency, which is good. Yep, totally agree. Right, even thinking about things like templates, <laughs> like how many templates are out there? Yeah. And why, why would we use which template in which case? It mm -hmm. just made us articulate that. So it's been great in that regard for me. Yep. Okay, well, I think um, I'm, you're running the meeting, Brian. <laughs> Am I? Um, <laughs> okay, so the action item there, I just realized I should be taking notes to Brian. Uh, is going to submit a pull request. Yeah. And then, and then we should be ready for the release once the pull request sent, Matt, right? There's nothing else I need to do on my end. That's correct. At that point, okay. I'll work with Kevin to kind of just, in essence, just rummaging through the repos to find the release metrics to get okay. onto the web page so that they are evident as release candidates. Mm -hmm. And it's actually going to link the comment period will link back to the metric. So back to essentially that pull, not that pull request, but that markdown file. Mm -hmm. um, and then we will open up a new issue inside of common, which is, you know, comments on, yep. on this particular metric. Oh, okay, perfect. So you're going to open up that issue. Yep, we'll take care of all that. You guys, hang on a second. I got to call some. I got to pick up this call. Okay. Sure. I think we're basically mostly done, to be honest. I think so too. Because at this point, I know what you're releasing. I know where yep. to find it. We'll Oops, take Matt. care of the issue. We'll take care of getting okay. this. Call. Cool. Okay. Are you working from home? Me? Yeah. Because uh -huh. you have like gigantic gaming consoles behind you. Yeah, that's, that's Centipede. <laughs> that's Gorf. <laughs> I have Joust at my office. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's Don, a hobby. And they're all original too. Don, so. I don't want to school you in proper social etiquette, but I feel I must because when you say work, you have to do this. Work. <laughs> from home. When you have all that going on. <laughs> I've got culture, you know, he's got this is, culture. This is oh, 80s yeah. culture. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to talk. My backdrop is Darth Vader and Chewbacca. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, in your office there, it's like the Death Star. That's, you know, you can't <laughs> the internal yeah, have the industrial, industrial look. You don't like hung ceilings. Nope. <laughs> nope, those aren't cool. No, no. <laughs> but those are lovely machines. I was going to talk about them myself. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well. Thanks. Awesome. Okay, now that it's devolved into talking about uh, games in the backdrop, I think we're, I think we're done for today. Okay. Right. And then we're not meeting next week, I'm guessing. We'll go back on the bi-weekly schedule too. We'll go back on the bi-weekly schedule. So I just need to figure out what that bi-weekly schedule is. I think today is actually the official day. And then oh, next okay, week cool. will be off. And then. Uh, okay, good. perfect. I'll be out of the loop next week. All right, well, thank you all very much. Look for that PR uh, later. Thanks. Okay, sounds Bye. good. Thanks. Bye.